Hi, everyone, and welcome. Check out this scene. Tremendous buzz in the building here today. A lot of excitement around this college football matchup. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash. A conference that now stretches the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Northwestern Wildcats taking on the Maryland Terrapins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. The Terrapins offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him. And there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Here's the second down play. Handoff from the shotgun. Solid game, moves the ball to the 37. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. It's a run. Running back's got it. Breaking free at midfield. Big play in enemy territory all the way to the 41-yard line. The Terrapins line up on first and 10. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Caught behind the line. It's McDonald. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. And the Terrapins are moving quickly down the field. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the same runners got it again. And you've seen you're able to make the stop after a short game. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with these defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. So their first drive of the game, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Aggressive start. To throw, it's Edwards. And the pass is batted down, broken up on fourth down. What a play. The Wildcats offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. It puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. They expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Your first down loss at second and long in the 23. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Caught quickly. They bring it back to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. And now the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. He's up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Now they put that nickel defense, and I think that's the right call. You get more speed to be able to cover with those five defensive backs. It also allows that defensive line with that good coverage to get after the quarterback, as we see here. Field it at the 25. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Finally forced out of bounds, but a solid return that time. The Maryland offense is back out on the field now. The last possession, they were stopped on a fourth down try. Can they get something going here? Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. 
Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Finds room at the 30. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. Gonna run it. It's Kemby. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, in for the end zone. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Terrapin. As a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. Point after, up and good. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Tackle at the 13. Now, great field position to start the drive. Out comes the Northwestern offense out of the field again. They came up empty in the last position, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. The shotgun running play call. Oh, they test the middle there, but get nothing. No huddle here for the offense. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. Defense will make the stop. It will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. Well, Kirk, Maryland has the lead here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. And here comes the punter onto the field. Chris, he's getting in there so quickly. Now you might want to consider a chip block with either the tight end or a running back to slow him down. He's just too talented out there. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. Here comes the Maryland offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four-down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Running with purpose. He stopped, but he gets a first down. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Will he score here? That's a strong run. They finally tackle him down at the four. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Terrapins. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. With the extra point, the lead is 14. The pickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. Okay, here comes the Northwestern offense back out on the field. Are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. They're going to run it. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. The offense going with the hurry up. It's a draw to the back. 
the junior able to bring him down quickly. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. The offensive coordinator begins this drive with excellent field position. Back to pass. It's Edwards. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And they tackle him right there, but that's a turnover. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right sacked, dropped at the three. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down. They bring the punter onto the field now. Defense takes their third and final timeout of the half to talk strategy. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Big guys up front line up. It's first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Pass complete in second down now. And the quarterback dropping back. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Tackle made after a big gain. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback. Finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. Looking for six. Oh, and it's nearly picked off. Could not hold on to the ball in the end zone. Sets up second down. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. He's got it right near the end zone. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. they got to be... He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Terrapins. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down in the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a quick route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So it's first down, but they'll just take a knee and head to halftime. Looks like the offense is content to run out the clock here and just take it to intermission. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in College Park. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. The Terrapins will kick this away to get the second half going. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. They'll start from the 25. Out comes the Northwestern offense onto the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. He went backwards on first down, so second and long for the 24. 
Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. Punt team ready to boot it away. Looking to flip the field here. Here comes the offense looking to start the drive. Easy. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's going to rifle this one deep to the left side. Pass hauled in inside the 15. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. And the Terrapins will line up here on first down and goal. First and goal, handoff. Touchdown, Terrapins. And the route is on. Might have to try the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. Out comes the Northwestern offense out of the field again. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? The back's got it. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. Second down. Here we go. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Porter. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. First down here for this offense. Here's the handoff. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Great job by the offensive line here in opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think Are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Oh, and he dropped it over the middle in some traffic there. Now brings up third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Gordon. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Still looking for that elusive touchdown, but finally this offense is moving. First down and 10. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. It's a good solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Caught in the backfield. It's Porter. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. On third down, he drops to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. They pressure him and sack him to be tackled inside the 10. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. And this one is right through. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Man is brought down after a solid effort on that return. Maryland offense is back out on the field now. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments, come up with a stop here? They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff. It's Hemby. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. It's third down for the offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. How impressive these guys been up front tonight. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. 
The gain is four, so it's second and six. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, I feel like they call that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. We'll see if they can convert. Well, Kirk, Maryland has the lead here. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. They'll work the clock here with the running game. The game is three. Now it's second down and seven. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to 30. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football. And great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want, whatever we feel like doing. The Terrapins come to the line with first and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Touchdown, Terrapins. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. 35, Northwestern, three. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped with the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Okay, here comes the Northwestern offense back out on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Pressured and dropped back at the eight-yard line. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game, and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Defense is coming after him. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. The pass rush closing in. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, with this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Oh, and it's dropped by an excellent defensive player. A chance at a takeaway. Got away from him. Don't see that often. To the air. It's Edwards. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Run down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. The offense threatening close to the goal line with a new set of downs. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown, Terrapins. And this one is getting an ugly. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. Hey, it's the fourth quarter here. They're trying to get that football back. I don't blame them. Unfortunately, they couldn't come up with it. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. 
Moving the receiver around pre-snap. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. That's reeled in. It's Johnson. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Second down play coming up. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Using his legs on the scramble. It's a fumble. Looks like the defense has it. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. Here comes the Maryland offense back on the field. Going to run it. It's Hemby. Oh, and it's fumbled. The lateral goes wrong. The offense falls on the fumble. Keeps possession. After the loss on first down, it's second and long from the 22. Handoff here from the shotgun. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. Boy, incredible job here by this defense to create this turnover. It looked like this game was over, but now with this turnover, they got a chance to get back in the game. Offense looking to throw the ball. On the run here, lets it go. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football, and now it's second down. It's now second and goal to go. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Pressure is coming. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wildcats. Touchdown. Well, first of all, I'm impressed that the user has not turned the game off and reset and playing it to the final whistle. And the offense is following your lead by playing hard and gaining some confidence for next week. You're not going to win this game. But I'll tell you what, you're a trooper. Northwestern, 10. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. Maryland offense is back out on the field now. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Great performance by this home team. There's going to be a serious party around here tonight. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they'll keep it on the ground trying to run some clock. That's the mark of a well-coached team. These guys don't even pay attention to the score. They're just out there executing and churning up yards. Good, solid run there. As this clock continues to wind down, this offense has had a great day. And they hand it off to the back. And the Terrapins are moving quickly down the field. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Solid run, tackled with a 45-yard mark. Just another example of this offense, Chris, doing pretty much whatever they want to do. They've been able to run the football. Offensive lines held their own in pass protection. Quarterbacks had an outstanding day. You add all that up, it's a big reason why they're up by such a wide margin. Trying to find a room. It's Pemby. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This running back's had a big night, the kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And on the final play of the game, just a short game. That'll do it. Well, frankly, Kirk, we hope for games that are a little bit more suspenseful. This one got out of hand early, ended up being a rout. That's putting it nicely, Chris, right? This was a complete blowout, a solid performance in all areas by this team. Their coaches should be proud of how they looked out there today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.